John Wicks has been a Montana farmer since he was 21 years old. I think I crop about 3,000 acres of cash crop and, you know, we try and do about 1,500 acres of cover crop in diverse uh, rotations. For the past eight years, his focus has been on organic farming and he has seen firsthand the holes in the farm bill. You know, in some ways crop insurance works really good for organic with the price factored in. And we need to see, you know, there's like whole farm insurance where you can plant about any, we need to expand on those kind of programs that are a little more diverse. With the farm bill expiring, many rural farmers such as John are left to try and figure out what to do before the worst arrives. The farm bill always needs improvement and uh, working on, but uh, there's been some pretty good advances, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Wicks wants to see the Risk Management Agency, or RMA, expanded, ensuring things like cover cropping, where a crop is grown in order to enrich the soil itself. Cover cropping, you get penalized for using a cover crop instead of, you know, maybe getting a discount on it. So we'd like to see some things there where you're kind of rewarded for doing some of these management things and implementing them that actually are, you know, less risky than not adapting. Wicks advocates for dual enrollment for financial protection programs and hopes the nutrition title makes it on to the next iteration of the bill. Programs like SNAP and I think, you know, feeding people is a lot of farming. So these programs, the nutrition title needs to be in the farm bill. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we got to take care of people in our communities. If they need a little help then and feeding them, then that's what farming is. Wicks recently attended the National Farmers Union's legislative fly-in in Washington, D.C., where he felt optimistic about the future. Every legislator that I spoke with was pretty open and they knew what needed to be done. And a lot of them, I think, were ready to go to work. He expects something to get passed in the spring, and it's more about making sure that farms survive until then. There's going to be some uncertainty that's a little scary. Um, but I think just being in D.C. and, you know, visiting with Republican and Democrat, uh, you know, legislators, they all want to work together on this and they know how important agriculture is for the nation. And, you know, keeping family farms going is a matter of, you know, it's a matter of national security. And ordinary citizens should get involved in making sure the next bill passed is the right one. It affects their life three times a day. Every time you eat, you know, there's a, it comes from agriculture. Right now, lawmakers are still trying to work out a deal. The extension expired September 30th, but many programs are still active through the end of the year due to how they were structured. In Great Falls, I'm Tommy Lynch, MTN News.